everybody, welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm Hannah, I'm your voice teacher. Welcome. Today's video is very fun. I got to work with the incredible Mariah Rose Faith. If you don't know who Mariah Rose Faith is, she is the current Regina George in Mean Girls on the National Tour. She's an amazing singer and an even more amazing person. And I had a great time talking to her, getting to know her, helping her through so much better from Legally Blonde. It was really fun. Before we get into the lesson, I have a huge announcement. On Saturday, February 6th, I am having a musical theater masterclass with Mariah Rose Faith, all about breathing life into characters. We're going to talk about the vocal technique and we're gonna marry that with connecting body and soul to the heart of a song. I'm so excited to work with her in a teaching capacity and hear her incredible expertise on acting and connecting to a song. You can sing, you can also come and observe, but there are only six singer spots. We wanna make sure that every singer gets plenty of one-on-one -on -one time with both me and Mariah. If you are interested, use the link below to sign up. So oh. tell me about your singing history. Like that classic story of, I didn't really talk. I started singing first. I started doing voice lessons when I was probably around seven or eight. I was self-taught a little bit guitar and piano. Kept going lessons and then got to college. And I trained like my voice to be more legit because I had never worked on that before. Now I'm here. <laughs> I think you skipped a couple things. Where did you go to school? Where did you go to college? And I didn't go to school for musical theater. I went to school for film at LA Film School. I was already working professionally in LA, musical theater wise. And I only did about like a year and a half of film school before Mean Girls happened. So how did you get involved with Star Kid? And I worked on Starry and I was a part of that at the very beginning. And so were Jamie Lynn Beatty, Dylan Saunders and Jeff Blim who were part of Star Kid. And they were just like, hey, we have like this young, belty-ish role. I just did a self-tape for it and kind of was like, I'm not gonna get this. And then they were just like, yeah, yeah, you got it. So we'll we'll keep talking to you. Like super casual. When you got involved with Star Kid, did you have any idea that the caliber of Star Kid fans that would then find you? <laughs> No, <laughs> absolutely not. But I was amazed by it. And I, I tell people this a lot where like, I used to be a part of like that stand community online, especially when I was like 16, 17. And so it was like, surprising but then I was like oh I'm familiar with this I was this like I understand this it was very strange being on the opposite end though and and, and having any sort of like platform I mean as I'm sure you know where sometimes it goes to zero to 100 and you're like oh got it <laughs> so that was that was cool but they're amazing and I'm so thankful I've got to meet so many of them across the country with Mean Girls and just like being able to love on so many of them and see the passion that they have and the drive that they have so many of them for performing and for creating creating art. Yeah, they, they're the most inspiring little humans. I freaking love them. So you then auditioned for Mean Girls. That sounds so scary to me. I feel like I would have to have somebody like push me to do it. So I'm wondering what pushed you to do it? I love a good scary thing. I was actually reached out to by Telsey, the casting company for Mean Girls, because they saw my YouTube video of World Burn. And so that, okay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got my first self tape for it. And I was just kind of like, the power of the internet, man. This is why I like, I tell all the kids I work with, like post on TikTok, post on YouTube. You literally never know who was going to see you. But yeah, I was terrified in the most exciting way though. I was like, oh my God. And I was like, I'm going to be completely off book. I'm going to get this to them in like, less than 24 hours um, because I need them to know how interested I am and I don't want to be viewed as like, oh, we're giving this YouTuber a chance kind of thing. Yeah, and I, I'm like, well, yes, I am a YouTuber, but also I've been working professionally. I care about this. I have a lot of training in this. So yeah, that happened. And then I got my first in-person call back in LA where I was very terrified because all of a sudden I'm this like, at the time, very goofy brunette, like doing comedy. And I'm there with just these like, elegant beautiful LA people who are so talented and it's one of those moments where you go like hey I deserve to be here too just as much mm -hmm. as this person and it went well and then they asked me to come to New York because it was for like Broadway and tour I don't think they really knew where to place me and then I went in front of like Tina Fey and Casey Nicola for that third one it was just like right off the bat in front of everybody and I did that a bunch of more times eventually got it <laughs> and uh at that point it was kind of just like I didn't have fear anymore because I was just so thankful to even be there in the first place. It felt mm -hmm. like all of that so 
far behind me because I was just like, I can't even believe I'm in the room with Lauren Michaels. You know, it's like, that's just silly. Yeah. But yeah, it was it, definitely one of those magic moments. For oh sure. Gosh, it's so incredible. It's good to mention that it took a while. You hear of these stories where you audition and you get offered the job that night and then the next day you're, you're in rehearsals. But often it's a long process. That's really incredible. That's such a great point too, what you're talking about, like the, the rarity of um, here's the role, that offering that you get, because it really is this double life that you have when you're in <laughs> auditions for that long, because it's like your real life is still going, but then you're still on the like, am I gonna play this role? I don't know. I'm still in the mix of it all. So it's when you finally get it, it's just like, okay, <laughs> I got it, everybody. We did it. I love that you got that first initial call based on a cover. That's so cool. I mean, we really are transitioning into like a brand new world of theater. There's a moment where you go, okay, I have to prove myself. And mm -hmm. I think having too much of that on your shoulders can be very unhealthy, but having that is good because it's like, okay, I, I want to show these people and show myself that like, I'm kick ass. And like, <laughs> this movie, yeah. I'm cool, you know? So vocally, what do you feel like is the hardest song slash moment in the show for you? It's just finding good vocal stability and someone gets hurt because there's so much going on. I love a good park and bark. Like, let me stand on a stage and get my belt going, you know? Again, like, my heels are this freaking tall and I'm getting flipped upside down and I'm wearing barely any clothes. And so there's all this like other stuff happening where there have been times vocally where I'm like, I could feel my voice being shaky because I am focusing on these other things. Eventually, like, you know, after you do it a hundred times, you can kind of go into that place where it's like, I got to let go about this other stuff I'm focusing on and trust the rhythm of what I'm doing. And I started thinking more about the support in my voice. And I was like, let's support there. You're going to be able to walk across the stage in these heels. You don't need to find that support as much anymore. We did like a Regina um, Q&A on Broadway Plus with Renee and Taylor as well. And we had all kind of said the same thing about that song. And it's like, oh, great, I'm not alone. And like, and there's just something with that song. I think you bring up a, a good point because I, I like to tell my students that higher doesn't always equal harder. So because World Burn spends a lot of time over the hump, you can really just get that up here, right? Like live up there for the rest of the song. Yeah. And someone gets hurt is a lot more in this middle big belty part. Yeah. So I would totally agree. If I had to say one is more challenging, I would actually say someone gets hurt. Can you sing for me? Uh, Congratulations. That's the scariest part. Good job. So I'm hearing that your voice has a tendency to sing with a little bit of a light chest voice. This is super common in soprano. That means on the very bottom, I was hearing a little bit of our vocal cords not coming together all the way. Ah, tiny bit of excess air. As we got through our first passage, you got through it really successfully as we were leading up to it. I uh, heard a little bit of instability and then you corrected it, which is great because- One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. One, two, three, two, one. Great. There's our chest voice. Easy as that. And I want you to feel like we're still talking from bottom to the top. Bip, 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 bip. I'm hearing beb. Can you make it bip, 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 called the cry. I'm going to think bip, 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 a little sad. Yeah, just on that top repeat. That's great. Make sure it stays bip. Great job. 
job. So with it, making it just a little bit more narrow, that helps us get through our first passage a little bit easier. The cry is going to be your new best friend. Basically, what the cry does is it gives us a little bit more resistance. So makes our vocal cords come together a little stronger. We want to work smarter, not harder, especially if you're doing eight shows a week. Good. Can you make sure you start in your chest voice? Going down. Give me the feeling that you just got back from the dentist, so our cheeks aren't working. It's just flawless. So that great connection that we have on the top. That feeling we're gonna have here. Like to size your mouth. Great. I know that thinned us out a little bit, and we lost some of the chest twists on the top, but that's exactly what I wanted. But now let's add a tiny bit of a cry. We're going to do a nya 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 with a Y, really nasty. And with the nya, we want to make it really tiny feeling. I want you to think about grounding just a little bit because as we go up, we start to get sharp. Nya 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 nya. So still engage your core up there. That's it. One more. Amazing. All of this time I planned, I'd be patient and you would love me again. You'd come to respect my mind. And at last you'd find you can love me again. And I have turned my whole world upside down, trying not to let you go. Watching you walk away is like a fatal blow. Is that my name up on that list? Does someone know that I exist? Is this some mistake? Am I even awake? Pinch me now, don't make sure. I mean, you sound fantastic. So from the beginning, I want us to think about Sad L. So not her normal, like, bubbly, happy voice. In my chest voice a little bit more. Mm. All of this time I planned, I'd be patient and... You can love me again. So now you can take exactly that amount of chest voice, smooth it out a little bit. Let's make it a little bit more legato. All of this time I planned, I'd be patient and you can love me again. Yes, I love that. So the entire song, we have to stay very grounded or we're going to start, larynx is going to start rising and we might start even going a little sharp. That's what happens when that rises. So when you get into... Is that my name upon that list? I want to think engaging my core. You know, I feel the weight of my body in my seat so that I'm not up here. Is that my name upon that list? That doesn't necessarily sound bad at all, but it's not sustainable for this the next 13 years. I'll be there in Monday, nine o'clock. Then we will see who walks the walk. No, no, I can't wait. I will be there at eight when they unlock the door. Oh, oh, I'll even dress in black and white. See, I am not begun to fight. And you'll go much better, much better. And soon I am gonna know much better. I am so much better. I am so much better. I am so much better than before. 
gosh, look at the lungs on you. So we did a tiny tweak, which was let's stay grounded, core engaged. Did that feel different at the beginning? Or I mean, yeah. the- you know, honestly, it felt, it, I already felt like I could go on much longer. Like yeah. just from that, just from that tweak. And what we really just have to remember is that everybody's chest voice sounds different. Chest voice is just the fullness of our vocal folds. Where am I talking right now? One, two, three. One, two, three, two, one. There's my chest voice. If I want that to be strong, I have to have the bottom to be strong. Yes, too. Totally. You know? totally. So at the very end, I think you did that really well. So it was yeah. then the full, it was more of like an oh. vowel yeah. and it just gave you so much more strength. As we went through, I could tell we were losing steam on that note. So what I want us to yeah. think about, if we are actually going to hold this for seven measures, we're going to feel like our, our core is engaged and that we have a little bit of that cry. So I yeah. know vibrato until the very, very end because that makes us, I mean, that takes a lot of air. Before. And you're gonna feel like you're leaning into that. So my core is very gently, kind of as if I'm wearing a corset, very gently squeezing yes. here. I'll even dress in black and white. See, I am not begun to fight. And you'll go much better, much better. And soon all oh, y'all gonna know much better. I am so much better. I am so much better. I am so much better than before. That was it. So fun singing with you. Thank yes, you so much. Anna, thank you. So, this is amazing. Ah, isn't she amazing? I had such a great time working with her. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any suggestions on reaction videos, covers, people you'd love for me to work with, let me know in the comments. And until next time, I'm Hannah. I'm your voice teacher. And now you're all my students. Please like and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. And I'll see you later.